Hello friends, welcome to Piceberg real-time video sessions. Uh, in this ongoing real-time scenario based uh, sessions, uh, today I'm going to give you one of the real-time scenario is why we should avoid a CRC32 for surrogate key generations. Okay, so we should not use CRC32 for surrogate key generation on larger tables. Okay, consider uh, if you have a table like 100K or maybe 1 million rows, we should not go with the CRC32. So CRC32 can generate a duplicate rows or can say duplicate surrogate key, even if you have a different value, even if you have a different value. So let's see with the example, you will get more clarity. So I'm going to create one notebook. I'm going to create one notebook. Why we should not use CRC 32 for surrogate key generation. Okay, so let's take one sample data file so i have some data file under my workspace file show tables uh, it is having some 1 million records so at least when you take some bigger file then you will get more clarity on that let's order by on uh, date file size so this is the file which is having uh, more data let's create a, it's a sales data file spark dot read dot csv and create a data frame it is having a header so header equal to true okay let's i will show you a few records display and limit 10 just i will show you 10 records so this table is having these many columns i want to generate surrogate key based on these columns let's take these four columns and concatenate these four columns and generate surrogate key so you know if you go with only one column this is having duplicates but uh, this four column combination like product id customer id time id and channel id combination uh, you will get a unique that is data is unique but on top of that which we can generate surrogate key so what i'll do i will add a new column i'll add new column concatenating all this concatenating all this so with the column, with the column, I want to go with the ID. ID is a column concatenating. So using concat function, I'll concatenate all these columns, all this column values. So one is prod ID, comma, another column, here it is, cost ID, another column, just time ID, another column channel id okay so i'll generate a new column first we need to import this concat function from pyspark.sql.functions import concat and another function is call let's show you display and limit list i'll show you 10 records which you'll get more clarity on this now you see concatenation of product id customer id time id which is added here you see this okay i'm going to use this id column then generate new sequence key so using with column what i'll do I'll write CRC32 key. Just I'll generate CRC32 key using CRC32 function. CRC32. Then input column here it is. I'll use ID column. Then it will generate CRC32. So we need to import that function CRC32. Now you see this. So CRC32 is generated. But we don't know it is having duplicates or not. It is having duplicates or not. 
what I can do, I can verify or I can add a new column if it is having a duplicates. So that is duplicates. So using a row number. So row number is one of the window function over class window function partition by partition by column name here it is i'll use a crc 32 column okay then order by crc 32 key and a closing yeah here it is properly it's closing then import a row number then import window function as well. Okay, so now here it is added. Where it, if it is having a duplicates, it will be there more than one. If don't, if if it is not have does not have any duplicates, then one only so for that what we can do we can apply filter condition we can apply filter condition filter where this duplicates greater than one let's so 94 duplicates are there. So 94 duplicates mean, so these are our records greater than one. So greater than one means, so for these values, whatever these values are there, the same surrogate key generated, same surrogate key, this is surrogate key, right? So what we can do, let's write in SQL query, I will show you that. Simple way to understand that. Or we can use, uh, Let's create a data uh, view on top of this. Create or replace tempo view sales underscore view. Okay, so now what I'll do, I'll write SQL query to so select the star from where duplicates greater than one. While selecting, I will use this CRC32. We can say where a duplicate is having more than one duplicates. Okay. Just I, I want, I want all duplicate values. I want all duplicate values. Just I'm using a subquery, where class subquery. Now here, let's verify. It is giving the same value. If you look at this, it is giving the same value for this record, for this record. So CRC32 for this value, for this value, it is generating same. Let's even you can confirm that. Select CRC32 union or again select CRC32. Another call, this is another value. So actually input is different. So I'm giving a different input value. You look at this. Okay, even it is not nearby value also if you look at this, but it is generating the same key. It is generating same key. You can take that another record as well. Total 94. So we'll take uh, this one. This value, this value totally different, but it is giving a same key. Let's take input this. Even this value also totally different value, but it is 
generating same surrogate kin yositas so crc32 is not suggested for hughes data so i'm taken just 1 million records even i will show you how many records are there in this table okay even less than 1 million less than 1 million 0 0.9 million records are there you see this 9 lakh 18000 so 0 0.9 million records still it is generating a duplicate for lesser data but real time you will be having a millions of data so if whenever you are going for surrogate key so crc32 is not suggested you can expect a duplicate in future even currently if you don't have duplicate but future it can generate same key again so 1 million records it is generated 94 duplicates it is generated 94 duplicates so that's why we should uh, avoid crc32 for bigger tables so what i did this way i concatenated all these columns then on top of that i generated a surrogate key using a crc32 then i generated a row number to identify the duplicates then i filtered using sql here so these are our 188 so total uh, twice it is repeated you see this this value is different this value is different but same key is generated this value is different this value is different but same key is generated this value is different this value is different but same key it is generated like this you can see so this value is different this value is different but same key it is generated so what I did, I just concatenated this column data, this column data, this column data, this column data. This is one of the common scenario to generate a surrogate key based on multiple columns. Why? Because if I go with a single column, this column is having a duplicate. If I go with a single column, this column also having a duplicate. So that's why you'll go with a unique combination in real time. So we should uh, avoid CRC32 for generating surrogate keys. So if you like this video, Please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, let's continue in another video. Thank you. See you in another video. Thank you very much.